As I was saying, <clears throat> I rarely film at home anything like this because I have to draw a line somewhere. <laughs> but a lot of the behind the scenes happen when I am just doing my dishes or making coffee. So I thought today I would film my morning before I begin practicing to explain to you how I decide what to practice. Also, I came up with this idea just because I really needed to make a vlog about some announcements, but I didn't want to do another non-vlog, just like a random upload. <clears throat> I will talk to you when my voice wakes up. This was a bad idea. <clears throat> so I wasn't expecting <clears throat> my voice to not open up. <laughs> so weird. I don't know how interesting this vlog will be, but I did finish one book slash two, Purity of Music by The Boat. Someone has to correct me in the <laughs> appropriate pronunciation. This book was recommended by Robert Schumann to young musicians and I learned a lot. It also affirmed a lot of my perspectives on music in society and in culture. The second thing that I finished reading was not really a book but it's a long narrative poem by Lord Byron. I read this because the last vlog was about Liz Etude Mazeppa and if you did not know Liszt quoted Victor Hugo's poem, Mazeppa. It was actually inspired by the original, so to speak. I mean, what is an original? Maybe someone else also wrote about Mazeppa, but Mazeppa was a real person, a Ukrainian military. And Lord Byron wrote the original story of how he was strapped onto a horse as punishment but the horse was running wild. It's a really vivid story told in first person, unlike Victor Hugo. So Victor Hugo wrote the poem in 1828, whereas Lord Byron wrote the original in 1819. So I read that entire poem along with some fragments. I can link the books for you if you're interested. But I'm mentioning books because I started this new resolution for myself where I would only post a new YouTube vlog or even make one after I finished a book. So that's why I wanted to give you a book update. <clears throat> the announcements and why I am suddenly filming this and also editing this vlog on the same day. Crazy to do, but I first off want to say thank you to everyone who has supported my fundraiser, who have supported me in general. There's been a lot of things in flux Lately, I mean, not just a pandemic, but um, I was talking about this to my Patreon patrons yesterday night. Whenever I get stressed out from career stuff, <laughs> my friends always mention how great you guys have been and how supportive you are. So I wanted to give you a thank you and also an invitation. So the invitation is related to my nonprofit Together With Class School. Thank you so much to everyone who has donated to the fundraiser. If you missed my announcement, I am giving away online lessons per 10% increments that we go up in the fundraiser. And since we've went up from 30 to 50, I'm giving away at least two lessons. And I will put the card up there so you don't have to hear my whole spiel about fundraising because I know it's probably very annoying to hear me talk about fundraising all the time. So the special invitation is for you to join a roundtable discussion via Zoom this weekend. And I'm sorry, this is a very last minute, but I only thought of this during the Classical Chats podcast. And I thought I'm learning so much about how 
classical music is perceived in your local communities and I would love to hear more about your perspectives so I wanted to launch a roundtable discussion under Together with Classical so that we can understand how we can support classical music in your community better and for the first round of roundtable discussions we are opening it up to students and teachers just for now just because I really believe in the power of education to bring more classical music opportunities and experiences to people so I want to start from the education route but don't worry if you're not a student or a teacher you can look into the description there will be also a form for you to fill out in case you would like to share your thoughts on this question it would really help us to shape some new programs that I would like to launch with the help of my wonderful subscribers and followers the deadline to apply if you want to join the round table is Wednesday midnight I know it's very short notice sometimes I just have things suddenly pop up to my head that I think would be a good idea and the reason that it's very short notice is because I'm supposed to leave for Salzburg next weekend not this coming weekend but next so that's why I really wanted to do this before I get caught up in travel and performing <laughs> and that's why I'm hoping to meet 10k for the fundraiser before I leave it's just so I don't have to be in charge of everything going on <laughs> at once speaking of Salzburg let's talk about my practice I don't have a schedule it's entirely up to me which I am so grateful that I have this freedom and it's really because I have my patron support and uh, really allowing me to have this freedom I'm very lucky that I don't have to do other odd jobs to support myself so that's why I have this freedom and I recognize this privilege and so I'm always very thankful now <coughs> my voice my voice my voice my voice so meet piano <laughs> It's currently not yet 10 a.m. It's still just a little bit past 9.30. I don't really start practicing till 10 or 10.30 at the earliest if I decide to do a morning practice. A lot of the times I end up thinking about what I need to do and then I end up doing some logistics or maybe I'm just in bed reading or at the couch reading or watching TV or something and I don't start until after lunch, that's also possible. A lot of people ask me how I structure my practice, so <laughs> there's no structure. Essentially, I try to come up with a list of things that I would like to accomplish each day, but it, it's not very, very strict. It really is entirely up to how I feel. So, for example, I will not be singing today <laughs> because my voice is so, so strange. Why is that sad? <clears throat> in the same line of logic, I think about what I did the previous day, what I did not do the previous days, and what I need to do going forward. So as I mentioned, it is about two weeks away from my Salzburg performance. I have not fully solidified every single note of the Brahms Piano Concerto, the first one, and I kind of need to do that. <laughs> so. Today, I will definitely run through the entire concerto and probably focus on the second and third movement again. I did not practice the concerto for two days. So the Brahms is the main thing that I would like to practice. As I mentioned, Schumann Stavitz Bundotanza is stuck in my head. <laughs> I, d I don't really know why. I mean, I do know why, but I don't need to necessarily practice this piece, but I might decide to play it a little bit. Actually, I will do it so that I can put it as a background for the vlog you're currently watching. Something else that I would need to do is the list Matsapa just to train my stamina because I keep talking about stamina. The Brahms Piano Concerto, if you don't know, Brahms really had such a symphonic concept for the concerto. It wasn't even originally a concerto. He wanted it to be for two pianos and then a symphony. He also said that the piano needs to be more than one. Like the sound, the weight of the piece emotionally and also in terms of the actual sound, it takes a lot of effort 
to play that piece so that's why I picked up the lust etude just to get myself into more in shape <laughs> yeah that's pretty much how I decide to practice how long would I practice today I would like to go beyond two and a half hours it might be shocking because there's this conception that you have to practice a million hours to be a professional musician which you know to each its own but lately i am focusing a lot more on reading and getting the inspirations from there rather than sitting at the piano to practice for hours and hours a lot of times when i practice i find myself wanting to read and get the inspiration behind the piece but because I need to build up my stamina, I have to go past two and a half hours somehow. Mm, throughout the past, I guess at least six years, seven years, maybe even more than that. I'm not really conscious of how I practice or how I decide on things like this. But during college when I was studying philosophy at Columbia while also pursuing piano at the same time, I had the same mindset like I just explained to you. I think about what I want to achieve for that day, given the amount of time that I have for myself. Of course, today I, or these days, <laughs> during the pandemic and also just as a non-student, <laughs> I have all the freedom, which again, it's such a privilege. So I can decide to practice however many hours I would like and when I decide to make YouTube videos and when I decide to read so I have all the freedom and I'm not restricted but still the same mindset goes where I think about having specific things that I want to achieve whether it's a certain passage that I want to improve on or a certain thing that I want to memorize I just make sure I have like a small to-do list I think of everything that I've said to you so far in my brain and I don't talk out loud and write down anything. I don't practice with a physical journal to mark things down, although that works for some people. I am very fluid and I like to make sure I know how I feel because that's very important so you don't injure yourself and go from there. Really being in tune with what I need to do and how I feel. So sometimes you can get a lot of things done even in 30 minutes. It's all about coming up with specific goals and really focusing on them during the time that you have for practicing. So I hope this gives you a little bit of insight of how I decide on things. My voice, I am so sorry, is so not awake. <laughs> but I am awake, so I'm gonna read. Oh yeah, fun fact, the daughter of Lord Byron who inspired Victor Hugo's poem Mazzeppa, who inspired Franz Liszt's etude Mazzeppa. She is most known as the world's first computer programmer, which I only found out through reading your Instagram Dia, which I find really fascinating. Someone's vacuuming. <laughs> Thank you so much for your interest in my endeavor and I hope to see you at the round table discussion. <clears throat> Be kind. <laughs> Keep striving. I will see you when I finish the next book. So, bye.